Hello everyone, it is me, Saxuma from Triple Studios. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be continue on working with the Cut Castaway Stranded or the 2D survival game in Scratch. Now the support on this series has been absolutely phenomenal and I appreciate it greatly. But I'm now going to stop talking and let's do this straight away so first thing that we want to do is go over to the rock sprite you want to click it right first of all we want to test it test the game out Alright, so now that the game works, now we want to test it out. So we click this rock. We have the rock. <sighs> Excuse me. So now we want to do it so we can pick up the rock and the coconut. So first things first, we want to create... Well, oh, never mind, we've already got the inventory rock. Now the inventory rock is obviously the rock that's inside the inventory so we can do it. Um, how am I gonna be able to do this? The question is how are we gonna do this? So I think we're gonna do it very simple. When backdrop switches so to the game screen one, you wanna go to events, grab the when backdrop switches so to menu, or you could just change it to that in the menu. Drag it so and then make it so it says game screen 2. And then all you want to do is go down to control. You want to go down to see repeat until. Wait, no, never mind, don't do that. Uh, all you want to do is go to events and then broadcast message 1. So we want to get rid of that and we just want to call it rock. Shouldn't be too long yet. Rock pick up. There we go. Make sure it's selected for that. And whoops. go over to your inventory rock. And then you want to go. When I receive message one, but we are going to change the message from message one to rock pick up. Then we want to go down to variables. We can delete my variable. So then you now we want to click make a variable. And we want to do it so it is C. Excuse me, I'm a bit tired. Sorry for that. So we want to name this variable rocks. And then you want to have a colon on the end of it there. And then you want to hit OK. Now, we want to make it so the rocks variable is set to whatever it is. So let's do a green fly clicked. Go back to variables. Set. And then we want to grab the set rocks to zero. So that's what we want. And then when I receive rock up, change rock by one and then we also want a uh, show variable rocks so now let's click inventory come on so we have to play the game all right so it's there we don't want it there but we can always drag it Go here, and now we can drag the rock there. there. And there we go. So now we can stop it. Now we want to get rid of 
we want to try get rid of tire un unclip that block there and then we want to drag it up to this one here and then we can drag these down here there we go correct so i'm going to go hide and here they are if e press then show rocks if r press then hide rocks so now let's do this again and I figured out a glitch. If we mute audio, wait. Oh, we want it to hide variable. All right, so then you should still be in the variable tab. Grab the hide variable and put it right there. So I did find a glitch. If we play the game, because saying this mute the audio. No, I just moved it. Because settings. broken it one nine four there we go so if we mute the audio go back play when it loads, the plain audio still happens, which I don't think we want that. So that's why it's mute audio on raw. So to fix this bug, but it's not really a bug, it's just a mistake in uh, my coding. I'm very sorry. We want... Actually, all we can do is just... to this button <laughs> when, when, when I receive message to wait a minute, I'm trying to find it where is it Trying to find it. There it is. Oh. Okay, so that's obviously not going to work. So we're going to do it. Uh, about this, I think. Oh no, I've forgotten how we do it. <sighs> That's how I do it. Click that button up top right. Oh, and then my mouse cursor is over, and you want to go down until you see the plain sprite. Then click on it, and then you want to drag these two into the plain sprites. And there we go. And then now you can make it big again. So there we go, that's that glitch over. So now, if we click like Mute all audio and load. Click play and load. Yep, the play doesn't make a sound. Which is good. There's no sounds at all. And now, if we click on this rock, it shouldn't do anything. So, let's code that right now. So we want to get rid of that, don't know what I was thinking. When the sprite clicked, broadcast rock pick up, and we want to hide. So now, once we do that, it will hide. 
<laughs> Once it hides, it won't be there, and we'll have it in our quote inventory, even though it'll still be there. And so, we are actually now going to teleport it to a far away position, so... Obviously, I can move it. Minus two eleven and one four eight. Minus two eleven. Minus two eleven and one four eight. It's now just got the. Let's put the coconut back where it was. Uh, let's mute audio, cause I'm not in the mood to listen to it right now. And yeah, this should be working. Yeah, okay. Click this. Click E, and we have one rock. Alright. Now we have one rock in our inventory. Click, click in there, it's not there, which is good. So, what this now means, just means that we've got a working inventory system, and now we're going to do it with the coconut. So the first thing we want to do is duplicate the end rock, like so. And we want to make it says in co co nut. Spell it wrong. I know, I did spell co wrong. And then we want to go over to the coconut icon, go to the coconut costume. Select the whole thing, control C it. And then we want to go to the Invrock. Control V it. It's huge compared to this. So now if we click this, E. Change these controls. We want to change all of this. So you want to go down to variables. Let's actually test it. I'm not meant to move that. All right. Let's quickly set this to the front. Put it there, and then let's quickly change where it is. So it is zero ninety-five, and we can connect that back. So now what we want to do is go to variables and click make a variable, and then call it Coco Nut. And I want to put a colon on the end as well. So then you click OK, and here it is. Now it has the exact same code as the end rock, which is not what we want. So let's change it right now. We want to change all of it to coconuts. So, and then we want to create a new message called co. Not click. It's not even typing. Oh. Co -co -not click. And <coughs> here it is. And then we want to drag it under the coconut section, right there. Now, so we need to start it. Oh, no. 
Okay, so now these work. Um, this works it. It is fine. Now we need to script everything that's in the rock, which is really hard. It's literally just this. So we're going to put it in a small screen again. Find the coconut sprite. And drag this code in here. It, this code is in the rock, if you don't already know. Just drag it into the coconut the coco by clicking the small icon up there. So a shrink screen, and you can easily just do this. <sighs> Sorry about my yawning, it's very weird. <laughs> okay, now we want to just drag this here. Um, you want to switch, switch, change the message to coconut pickup. And once you've done that, now it will work. So if we click get out the inventory, click the coconut, click also the rock, click E. As you can see here, it works. Next video, guys, I'm probably going to be doing the. Not too sure the um crafting system, and then the lesson after that. Not lesson after that. The video after that. Uh, the health system because that way it all aligns in a perfect order. So we should be good. So we click a button. You see our health, our water, our food, our oxygen. However, actually no, oxygen will appear when we go underwater, and that will be very soon as well. Uh, we could start animating the water, but I'm not sure if we will do that now, because you guys can always come back along and edit the water when you want. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video.